Uh, we sell a lot of pumpkins uh, for the fall. Uh, we use them for decorations, uh, you know, pre-picked and you picked pumpkins. And just, uh, it's a good fit with the apples. Yes, um, great because uh, we'll have uh, about four weekends that we haul people to the pumpkin patch, let them come out and pick their own. So, you know, it's kind of a family event and it's great for that. Uh, we grow about 12 different varieties. Um, Magic Lantern, uh, you know, that's a medium sized pumpkin. Um, we do a lot of the little mini pumpkins, uh, bigger pumpkins, so just we kind of plant a variety. We sell more, uh, you know, probably pick your own, but it, it's a lot, you know, it's about maybe 60, 40. So we, we still pick a lot of pumpkins and sell them during the week that way. Yes, we do. Right, we still spray them, even though they're resistant, doesn't mean that they won't uh, get powdery mildew. Okay. Well, the vines didn't grow out near as much, and the pumpkins are smaller, maybe uh, probably at least a third smaller than normal, so that'll cut down on the profit in. Uh, we haven't so far. Um, okay, on the weed control, we use strategy. Uh, we plant that or put that on right after planting. Um, and then the pesticides will uh, come back in. Our, uh, as soon as the pumpkins start to shoot up, first, second leaf, you know, the uh, cucumber beetle will seem to find them. So we'll you know, use some pesticides and fungicides at, at that time. And then about every two weeks after that, we spray the pumpkins. Uh, uh, just, you know, keep at it and, you know, check them. Keep, uh, you know, looking at them. Okay. Uh, still probably the cucumber beetle. Uh, activities, we haul the people to the patch so they can pre-pick uh, the pumpkins and we also sell them up at the, you know, the market area to if people don't want to go to the patch. We also use the, like the field trip uh, and do a pumpkin ring toss where they can throw rings and uh, if they ring a pumpkin they get a free one. Uh, miniature pumpkins, pumpkins been great. Um, a lot of people like them for decorating and basically pretty easy to grow. You know, we, we bring in beehives and uh, use those for pollination. Uh, around the pumpkins we'll bring in about 24, but uh, for the whole place we'll bring in about 80 or uh, 40 eyes all together. Uh, they're within a uh, quarter mile of the pump. Uh, usually around about the 15th to the 20th of September, but every year they want them earlier, yeah. so we'll <laughs> probably start to pick some next week. Yet. Yeah, we have. Uh, we've bought in uh, semi loads out of Wisconsin, or maybe a neighbor, uh, you know, somebody closer by may have pumpkins extra. I'll uh, use pumpkins one year and then either plant corn or beans the next year in that and then switch back and forth. Uh, we'll use some nitrate, uh, nitrogen uh, at planting, and then uh, during the season we'll put 20-20-20 uh, uh, iron with the pumpkins and when we use our spray leaf. 
cultivation, um, the first part, uh, we'll put the strategy down at planting, and usually about a month or so later, we'll go in and start tilling the centers and stuff. And uh, so, for the most part, we can kind of keep them fairly clean, cultivate maybe about every two to three weeks. No, we haven't. Uh, just I don't have the equipment to lay it. And No, we don't. <laughs> this year would have been the year to have some irrigation for it. We usually plant about the last week of May or around the 22nd to the 25th of May. Okay. Uh, we plant them in a row. Uh, we plant uh, about a foot apart and about 15 feet in between rows. We use the old John Deere uh, corn planter and we buy a bigger plate for the pumpkin seed. Well, one thing is the cucumber beetles and, you know, stay on them all the time. Um, even after the vines are up and running and then powdery mildew is probably the next biggest problem. Okay. And uh, so we just keep a spray on them, try most of the time. We usually use the more uh, vining type. It seems like it, you know, will vine out and with our spacing, that works well. Okay. Um. Yes, uh, early in the year when the plants aren't real wide, we'll use an over uh, row sprayer uh, with about four nozzles on it. Um, and when the plants get bigger, we'll use a big air blast sprayer. Okay to cover the ground. Well, I mean, you want to plant them so they're ready about the time you want them ready. Um, and just, you know, it takes a lot of labor to pick them and stuff. So the U-pick works good. Well, we after they we're picking them, uh, we'll try to keep them where it's cool and dry. You know, uh, we pick them in a lot of times either in bulk bands, uh, big trailers or pickups, and uh, so the less handling, you know, we'll pick them and then store them for a week or two. Uh, a lot of times it's just outside or in a shady spot where the sun's not going to hit them too much. Well, I think you want to know, have a market before you plant them. So whether you're going to sell them at your place or if you're wholesaling, that you talk to wholesalers to see if they want, you know, yours, and uh, just takes a lot of labor.